Welcome back everybody. I've been in my basement so long I think you can see I've developed some kind of night vision right here. Anyway, Happy New Year. It's that time of year when I take marks from those students that have too many and give them to those that don't have enough, which is why they call me Robin Hood. Although they spelt it wrong, it should be R-O-B-B-I-N apostrophe with the G where the apostrophe goes. Uh, by the way, I don't believe in making New Year's resolutions because I figured they just go in one year and out the other, if you catch my drift. And as you can probably see here, I've also been making tights cool since 1261. Some centuries I have more luck with the men than I do with the women, and vice versa. How many years has it been since 1261? You got it, 740. Well, today we're going to be talking about triangles. And I'm going to be looking at some patterns depending on how you make the triangles. So imagine a triangle made out of toothpicks. Let P be the number of toothpicks, P for picks because T could also be for triangles. And I'll use N for the number of triangles. These will be the number of triangles we're going to make. The number of toothpicks will be in the table. I'm going to do it in, in several different patterns and then hopefully come up with an equation, if possible, to explain the situation. So let's say the first pattern is that the triangles are all separate. So just make a whole bunch of them. So to make one triangle, it would take three toothpicks, then six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and 21, because it takes three toothpicks for each triangle. So the equation would be the number of toothpicks is equal to three times the number of triangles. But what if I put them in a row? For example, I start with this one, but then I add this one, and I'm just going to continue down the line, like this diagram shows right here. Well, it still takes three for the first triangle, but then only takes two more for the second one, and two more from then on. So these would be the numbers. And the number of toothpicks required would be, if you can see the pattern, two times the number plus one. So for example, if I want to make four triangles, two times four is eight plus one is nine. So it, it confirms that. The three and the two are known as the slope or the rate of change. It's how much it goes up each time you make one more triangle. Now what if I made them in a circle? So I start off in a line, but then I continue around like that. Well, it's very similar at the beginning. It takes three, five, seven, and even, even nine is correct, because you add two each time. And then if you make one more triangle, it'll take two more. But then to close off this hexagon, you only need one more toothpick here. So it takes 12, not 13. And then if you wanted to build another triangle on the outside somewhere, it would take two more. So that's the pattern. What's the equation? Well, there is none. Because the pattern breaks down right between here and here. Can you think of a way of making triangles with even fewer toothpicks? Does anything come to mind? Well, what, what if we, for example, do it in three dimensions? Could we reduce the number of toothpicks? Let's have a look. So let's say I take these three and then I add two on some crazy angle like this, I could make a second triangle with two more. And then if I put another toothpick between the two fingers on each hand, how many extra triangles would I make? Well, I'd make two more. So in that way, I can actually use fewer toothpicks. The first one would be three. Second one would still be five. But then after that, 
if I add those um, two toothpicks I was talking about, and then the third one, I could make two more triangles. So it only takes six toothpicks to make two more triangles. It's like this tetrahedron here. Six toothpicks, three triangles, four triangles, what am I saying? So that would be here actually. And you make three and four at the same time, so those are both six. If I was to add two more toothpicks to make another triangle, I could do it something like this on any angle I want. So it would take two more, or a total of eight, to make five triangles. And then if I, once again, put a toothpick between the two fingers on each hand, I would make two more triangles. So um, it would take 10, I should say nine. It would take nine to make Five, six and seven triangles. It'd be kind of like this. Now I apologize that my toothpicks aren't all the same, but I get this situation right here. That's a total of nine toothpicks. And what's the equation for that? Well, once again, there's none. Because there's no equation, no linear equation. There is a pattern of sorts, same with here, but there's no equation. Okay, give that some thought. Thanks for coming. Please comment, share, subscribe. Let everybody know about my channel. Thank you very much. Happy New Year again.